Hey guys, this is Hannah. Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if this is your first video. I talk a lot about flute and music topics on here and I actually do have an online lesson studio where you can take lessons from your home or from wherever. You don't have to worry about going to a teacher's home or a teacher's studio or even having someone come to your home and it doesn't really even matter where you or the teacher is in the world so if you want to learn more about that the info is down in the description but without further ado let's get into the topic of this video which is beginner versus personal fl or professional flutes i'm um, talking about the specs the price all of that stuff who each type of flute is good for and i'm also going to throw in my intermediate flute so yes i will be showing my flutes that i have played um to give you guys some examples i have not played every student flute out there i have not played every prof professional flute out there it's coming from my experience and um yeah so let's get into it all right so first up is beginner slash student flutes you'll see these called many different things here is mine in its case i've showed this once before in a video um, but this is not the most common student case. Most are plastic. This is a fabric. It is a hard case as most flute cases are, and it has a zipper, whereas the other cases would typically have clasps that you flip up or down. This also, most cases, flute cases do have this nice handle. This one also has a shoulder strap, which is nice. Um, and then this one has an outside pocket as well. Most cases again do not have this, uh, but this is the Trevor James 10X model uh, student flute. And I believe this is about 500 to $600 new. Um, they do also offer a 10X with a curved head joint, which is great for younger players or players with shorter arms. Um, all right, so get into it here is what it looks like in the case there is that as you can see um, so this does have silver plating and I believe the base metal is nickel um, so here's the head joint you have the body and then the foot joint. Um, all of these keys are called closed hole keys or plateau keys. Then this has a C foot joint because this key makes C sharp. This key makes C. So the lowest note you can get is middle C, otherwise known on the scientific pitch notation spectrum as C4, though a lot of flute players will call that C1. I personally go by the scientific pitch notation because I find it less confusing, especially if you also play alto, flute, or piccolo, or if you play piano, it's just easier to use one system. Um, so yeah, there's this. As you can tell, I have some uh, tarnish or some something from here from blowing across the flute from when I played it. Um, so that's pretty much a student flute. Most student flutes new are about $500, give or take a hundred. Um, you can find some used for as little as 200, uh, but go much lower than that and you're getting into the realm of cheap Ab Amazon and eBay flutes that are really not very good quality. I played on one of those before I got this one and it just does not hold up as well. So. Um, Trevor James is a good brand for beginner flutes. There's also Yamaha, Pearl, Gemein Heart, Dijau. I've heard their beginner flutes are really good. So you can go to a local music store if there is one near where you live, or you can go online to a website like Flute World or Flute Specialists or Carolyn Nussbaum Music Company and they can help you pick out a beginner flute in your budget if that is what you need. So that was beginner flute. Beginner flutes are good for um, 
if you have no playing experience or if you've only played for a few months, they're really easy to blow into and get a sound on. The flutes I'm about to show you have a bit more resistance, so they require more finesse. Um, so just something to keep in mind. They're all flute, beginner flutes are also more budget friendly. So they're good for beginners. They're also good backup flutes. If, so if you need to send your primary flute away or if you are in marching band and need to play flute outside but don't want to take your more expensive model, they're great. All right, so the next flute I have here is a step up or intermediate model flute. And it comes in this case. So yes, it does look very similar to the beginner flute. However, this one, is actually a case cover so if you open it you'll see that there's actually a case in there so the case cover has the outside pocket you can also use the area between the case cover and your case to store it as with most cases at this level it has the handle and the shoulder strap and my personal intermediate flute is a lyric artisan one um i believe so it is the model with a solid silver head joint, but a silver plated body, which you'll see in just a second. So it comes in this French style case. This one has a nice little like faux animal print thing. Most are just like plain black. Um, you have these clasps that you spread to the side and it pops out. So that's what that looks like. And so the biggest difference right off the bat would be the open hole keys compared to the beginner flute. You can use plugs, which is great when you're first learning on this, uh, when you're first switching to this kind of instrument. Um, but this does force you to have the right hand position. And then the next big difference is the foot joint. So we have C sharp and C we also have a B key, so this can go half a step lower. Uh, most flutes at this level have this sort of option. Also with this particular one, it's not a standard feature necessarily, but you have a split E key. So pressing this key will lower this guy, but that is typically it doesn't lower. So this, that's what this Thing is a split E is helpful but I don't think it is necessary as long as you practice because it only really treats that third octave E it only helps with that whereas if you're trying to decide on other specs I would personally go with specs that are going to have more of an effect across the entire range of the instrument so that is just sort of my opinion this flute cost about i want to say like 1700 so 1700 um if you get a version of this with all silver i think it's a little over 2000 um so there are plenty of good brands lyric is a good brand it's just not as popular as some of the others though it is the step up line for Miyazawa flutes which are amazing um, but yeah other common flutes in this category include Azumi um, Trevor James also has uh, step up flutes as well as Pearl Dijau um, Haynes Amadeus and tons of other ones um, step up flutes can also go into the starting of the handmade category except most of them are plated throughout the whole thing they don't necessarily have a solid silver head joint though some do those go up to like four thousand um, dollars or even more so yeah, this one i believe the head joint was handmade but the body was factory made so Again, things to keep in mind. So the cheapest would probably be about fifteen hundred for a step up, and then up to yeah four thousand or so, maybe a little more. Um, that's that flute, and my favorite. Not gonna lie, it's my professional flute. 
So it comes in this nice wood case. Some professional flutes have wood cases. Some have more of the sort of plastic black look. Um, just depends on the brand. But like the step up flute, it just has this class that you spread out and out it pops. And here is my flute. Um, I will make a disclaimer. As you can tell, this is gold. Most professional flutes are also silver. So they'll look more like my intermediate flute in terms of the color, but that is the biggest difference um, is that most, uh, actually that's not, um, that's the biggest difference between mine, but generally the biggest difference between a professional and an intermediate is that it is entire, professional is entirely handmade. So all of this was handmade. Um, so it is quite expensive. This one I think is about 8,000 something, maybe closer to 9,000 by now. Um, and then, so professional flutes start about probably six or 7,000, go way up to 80,000 uh, if it's like an all platinum and 24 karat gold model. So the specs on here is this is actually technically sterling silver with 18 karat gold rose gold complete plating so it's all in the body and the keys and the mechanism um was that necessary probably not but i did buy this um it was already made it was custom made and then the i guess the person didn't want it so they ended up selling it me selling it to me for a little less than the retail price and i fell in love with it anyway um so figured i would probably buy it at some point might as well save a little bit of money right so here again solid silver but gold plated head joint body then this one has this key right here that you don't see on most flutes this is a c sharp trail and it's controlled by a second lever here over the traditional b flat lever um, so this makes it easy to trail from b to c sharp or C to C sharp, and it also makes the C sharp more stable. So I can play. Play that opening to prelude to the afternoon of a fawn much easier in other times where you have to hold a C sharp or D flat. It's super nice. It also helps, I believe, in the third octave for a couple of alternate fingerings that make notes easier to hit. Um, so yeah, I also have open holes and then I have the B foot joint on this one. I did not get a split E just because at that point I was already used to sort of overblowing even though I was playing on a split E before. I just didn't think it was necessary, uh, especially since this flute already did come as is when I was doing my research, I already kind of wanted a layout like this with the C sharp. Um, at this level, you might also find that this key has a roller. So like right here, it's called a D sharp roller. So it helps you navigate amongst these keys. But for me, I didn't find that to be necessary. Um, so when would you upgrade to a professional if you are playing on an intermediate or step-up model and find that you have some limitations or you, um, yeah, or if you've just been playing on it for a while and you wanna test flutes out, definitely test out flutes before upgrading. Maybe not as a beginner because you don't necessarily know what you're looking for, but, um, yeah, if you're getting a professional or an intermediate, test out as many flutes as you can. I tested out flutes and got this at the National Flute Association convention in 2018. Um, so I had, there were all sorts of flutes there. Um, so if we ever do have conventions again, go to one or go to a music store and see how many flutes they can bring in for you. Because uh, that's going to be easier than just buying a flute. Um, another big difference at the professional level is that you can customize the head joint. So had I bought 
this new and had I not been already configured, I could have chosen a different head joint cut. As you can see, this is very square, um, which personally works with me, but they're also rounder cuts. You can get, if you have like a solid silver head joint, you can get a gold riser or a gold lip plate. Um, and yeah, so that is another benefit of getting a professional flute. You can also buy a head joint separately if you're not ready to upgrade from your intermediate to a professional. And those can be around 2000 give or take a few hundred dollars. So uh, a lot more affordable than a professional model if you really need something like that. Um, but that is about it for flutes. Uh, I hoped you guys learned a little something from this. If you, again, if you want to learn flute online or if you just want some advice on your flute and if you should upgrade, I have lessons. My lesson studio link is below and I also offer performance checks. So if you just need that one little checkup um, and an opinion on if your flute is good or you could try a couple of flutes in that recording. You send it to me, I'll get back to you with my feedback. Um, but anyway, thanks for watching. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe and like and leave this, leave a comment down below telling me what you want to see. And I will see you guys next time.